What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to be restoring my old radio flyer wagon for my little boy. Stay tuned. This is actually my old radio flyer wagon and my aunt had it down on her land and was nice enough to bring it up here to me. This thing is definitely gonna need some work. The wheels down here definitely have some paint chipping and some rust. And obviously there's a lot that's going to have to be cleaned out in here. And I think everything is just the surface rust. I should be able to just grind this thing down, you know, get everything sanded really good to bare metal and then just repaint it all. I'm going to start by just trying to take these pieces apart and get all the hardware off. I've got all the pieces taken apart. Everything came off very easily. The only thing that I had a little bit of trouble with were the wheels. And that's because these little hubs here are held on permanently with these retaining clips. So I just cut them off and I was good to go. So I can actually get those on the Radio Flyer website. And then I will also probably not be reusing these wheels. I'm gonna go with some new wheels. So I'm gonna head to the backyard and get all of these pieces stripped. I finally finished stripping all of the paint and rust off of this stuff. As you guys saw, I used a number of different tools and you know different accessories for those tools to get all the rust and paint off. And I probably got 20 hours worth of stripping into this thing. So what I'm gonna do now is get the garage set up for paint. I've already blown everything out of here. So I bought this 65 foot by nine foot tape and drape, and I'm just gonna string it along all the walls to cover everything up. got the entire garage masked off. This stuff was very easy to use once I knew how to use it. This side over here was the first one that I did and I don't know why I didn't start all the way at the end of the other wall. I decided to start right there and then I had to end up taping it together. So it was just my own mistake. But everything else, just what I can say is start from one wall, go all the way to the next wall, start there, go there, super easy. But I've got everything set up over here, ready to paint. So what I'm gonna do now is go back over everything with the sander and just kind of make sure that any rust that's already accumulated since starting to do this, I can you know get off. And then I'm gonna run a alcohol prep over everything as a wax and grease remover. And then I'm gonna throw on a couple of different products. So I bought some rust reformer to help with any spots that are pitting and things like that so that it doesn't spread. And then I just got some self-etching primer for the bare metal. I finished up hitting everything with the rust restore and the self etching primer and the spots that they needed to be in. So now what I'm gonna do is go back over everything with just some sandable primer. Yeah. 
I finished up all the primer yesterday. I let it dry overnight. So I did the rust restore, the etching primer, and then I also added two cans of this sandable primer. And the majority of this went on the carriage portion here because that is gonna get painted red. And then I'm gonna be doing a bed liner on all of the other pieces. So like I said, all of the little pieces are gonna get the bed liner and then the handle. And then I'm also gonna do the inner part of the carriage. I'm gonna do the bed liner in there as well because those are the spots that had a lot of the pitting and it'll hide a lot of that with that bed liner instead of having to do paint. I finished up with the red base coat. This thing came out super nice, it's super shiny. So I wanted to add a little bit of a custom touch. So I'm going to tape off some old school hot rod flames and paint them black. I finished up with the flames. It came out so good. I am so happy with the way that this turned out. So here's kind of the outside, and then you can see the inside over there, inside and outside. So this is pretty much what you'll see when the wagon is all put together. And then let me flip it over and I'll show you the backside. Here's what it looks like from the backside. So even though you're not gonna see this, I went ahead and painted everything just to kind of give it a clean look. But I, I'm so stoked with how this came out. It just, it looks so good to me. Um, so the last thing that I'm going to do is put on some new Radio Flyer decals and then I'm going to use this 2K Clear to seal it all up with. I finished up the clear coat. This 2K clear really makes this thing shine so well. But here's the front side that you guys haven't seen yet. And then you remember I did the bed coating on the interior there, but I just, I love how this thing came out. So this is what you'll basically see. So let me flip it over and I'll show you the back. So here's the back side of it. Again, you probably won't see most of this because it's gonna be the underside, but I really wanted it to look nice and have a little custom touch to it. So. The clear coat really makes this thing shine. Like I already said, it, it just turned out so good. I'm so excited about this. So I've got everything to put this thing back together and a few extra parts over here. So I ended up picking up some new wheels at Harbor Freight. Um, I did have an issue because the inner diameter of the wheel was a little bit bigger than what the diameter of the axle was. So I went to Lowe's and picked up a couple of spacers there and I did have to grind the bed coating back down to slide those on but no big deal. And then over here I picked up some new hubcaps and the crown bolt uh, and nut from the Radio Flyer website. And then I've got some new hardware to actually put everything back together. I just picked this up at Home Depot and then this also at Home Depot, I got to put the handle back on. So everything is here and I'm ready to get this thing put back together. Final assembly is done. This thing looks awesome. I know I still have it flipped over, but I'm just so stoked with how the flame job came out that I just wanted you guys to see what it looks like underneath. So I'm gonna flip this thing over, let you see it all when it's, you know, how it should be. And then I'll also take it out in the sun so you can see what it looks like out there. Here it is all flipped over. This thing came out so nice. 
This was a lot of work. I put a lot of work into this thing, but I am so excited with how well this thing came out. Here it is out in the sunlight. This thing looks so good. That clear coat really makes this thing shine. And I, I'm just super, super excited with how this thing came out. It's, it's really awesome to know that my little boy is going to be able to use the exact same wagon that I had. And it looks cooler on top of that. So hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll catch you next time.